Hi, my name is Dan with DroneBlog.com. Today, we will be explaining the various hyperlapse modes the Mini 3 Pro has to offer, as well as how to perform them. What is a hyperlapse? Well, simply put, a hyperlapse done by a drone is basically a time lapse, but instead of staying stationary while taking interval photos, the drone moves around a fixed subject or tracks from one location to the next while taking still pictures in various intervals, these to be compiled into a time lapse video. We'll be going over how to perform the four different types of hyperlapses the Mini 3 Pro can do. Now, prior to performing any of these hyperlapse modes, the Mini 3 Pro must be in the air. Now, once in the air, to get to the hyperlapse modes, select the movie icon, and you will then be presented with Master Shots, Quick Shots, Hyperlapse, and Pano. Choose Hyperlapse. The hyperlapse options are Free, Circle, Course Lock, and Waypoints. Now note this, because the different hyperlapse modes may take a bit of time to perform, it is advisable that you fly to different modes on fully charged batteries. We also suggest using the plus variety batteries if you have them. Now the first mode is free mode. Free mode allows you to pilot the Mini 3 in any direction while performing a hyperlapse. After choosing the free hyperlapse, click on the arrow at the bottom of the screen and you'll see options to adjust the interval, length, and max speed. Interval allows you to modify how often you'd like to take a photo in seconds. Length allows you to change how long the hyperlapse is in seconds, which subsequently changes the number of pictures needed for that video length. For example, a five second hyperlapse will take four minutes, shooting 125 frames. Now the max speed lets you choose how fast the Mini 3 Pro will fly, up to 6.7 miles per hour. After you've chosen the free hyperlapse options, it's time to set your photo options for the shoot. Now to change your photo or video options, such as the video resolution and the photo formats, you choose format on the bottom right of the screen. Now I generally use 4K resolution and RAW, but for this example, I'll just keep it on 4K and JPEG. See, if you aren't planning on doing much with the file in post-production, then JPEG would be sufficient. Now, if you'd like further control of the images being shot, go into Pro Mode to change the ISO, white balance, and the shutter speed. Now, to start the free hyperlapse mode, press the record button on the right and simply move the drone in the direction or directions that you'd like to shoot. To preview the free hyperlapse after it's been completed, first press the play button which is underneath the record button. This will bring you into the Mini 3 Pro album. After this, you choose your hyperlapse which would be under today if you shot it today. Or you'd scroll down to find the file if shot on another day. Then you just simply hit play and you have a low resolution example of your hyperlapse. Now the next mode is circle. Circle mode allows you to do a spotlight or point of interest hyperlapse on an object or structure of your choosing. To choose your subject, like with active track, simply drag a box over the area of interest. Now in addition to the interval, length and speed, there is another parameter, rotation. This lets you set the rotation in a clockwise CW on the screen or counterclockwise CCW motion. After you have set the parameters to your liking, to start the circle hyperlapse mode, press the record button on the right and the Mini 3 Pro will run the hyperlapse. The next mode is course lock. This hyperlapse mode lets you set the direction you'd like the Mini 3 Pro to go and it'll automatically create a hyperlapse going in that direction while staying on that course. Now different than the previous hyperlapse mode is the lock course arrow. So you point the Mini 3 Pro in the direction you'd like to fly, then you tap the lock course drop down arrow, and then you could set the interval, length, and speed of the hyperlapse. After this, press the lock to lock in the settings and you're all set to go. To start the course lock hyperlapse mode, press the record button on the right and the Mini 3 Pro will run the hyperlapse. 
waypoints. Now, the waypoint hyperlapse mode is a mode that many drone owners like, even outside of the Mini 3 Pro. The waypoint hyperlapse uses waypoints, which you'll manually fly to and set to create the hyperlapse. Now, depending on how many waypoints you add or the distance between the waypoints, a lot of battery power can be used. To start a waypoint hyperlapse, when you enter the waypoint hyperlapse mode and head to the bottom options, you'll see a set waypoint area with a plus symbol. Fly to your starting point. This will be your first waypoint. Now, manually fly to your needed height and then set the camera angle. Tap the plus symbol and now your first waypoint is set. Fly to your second spot and adjust your camera angle. The app will tell you that your camera angle is good. Hit the plus symbol and continue flying to your next waypoint. In the last step, just continue flying around and setting the waypoints as needed. When you're done setting up the waypoints, to start the waypoint hyperlapse mode, press the record button on the right. The Mini 3 Pro will then fly to the first waypoint and then subsequently run the hyperlapse. As with all the modes, to preview the waypoint hyperlapse after completion, you want to press the play button underneath the record button. This will bring you into the Mini 3 Pro album. And then, you choose your hyperlapse under today if it was shot today or scroll down to find your file if it was shot on another day after that hit play well that's all for this video if you find these types of video tutorials helpful please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and reviews head to droneblog.com